Okay, just to prove the strength of uh, Draft League, this is another day back for some uh, for match two, I guess, in this league. Uh, just came home from uh, dinner with some colleagues, so hopefully I'm sharp enough to still play Magic, even though I'm a bit tired. Uh, we'll see. We have a decent hand. We, I guess. Explosive apparatus is not the high end of our deck, but it can still find targets and enable, enable the delirium for the scour. Okay, Boros is a matchup I've played. F and I mean, blue red against red white is pretty common for me in the finals uh, so far. I've been on white red most of the time. Uh, but also blue red sometimes and I think both both archetypes are very strong and this we could be in for some problem if he's like a Boros deck with uh, the curve out type of creatures and as I always uh, usually have a lot of removal because white and red has a lot of removal then um, it could be problematic blue red is I think fairly good, well positioned against white red because blue red also usually have a lot of removal. Uh, the burn in particular is good against Boros because they usually have uh, curve out creatures with low toughness, so a lot of the cheap burn spells can find targets. So I still think that a good blue red deck is powerful enough to handle Boros, but Boros is very good to punish all the Dirtle decks. Uh, in the format. For example, I've never lost against blue-green. I don't think I've lost against green-black. Uh, but sometimes those decks can also have a lot of cheap removal. I mean, black, for example, and then maybe play bigger creatures and make them stick. And then, uh, obviously, the aggro deck could be in for uh, for problem as well. Now the question is, what do we? How do we want to sequence this? It's three mana to kill off the wolf with the apparatus. And then we still have one red up. Uh, which could kill the gorgers, for example. Then we would have to discard something. And I guess we don't need that five fifth mana right now. And if we really need one more, we could find it. Uh, Against Boros, I like killing the creatures because that's how they usually win. They put out, they curve out creatures and they try to kill the opponent's creatures and then they just try to go. I mean, the traditional two drop, three drop, four drop, then start playing removal and win that way. And that usually works uh, against slow decks or opponents that has maybe mana issues or bad draws. I mean, Boros is a very punishing ar archetype. But, it, but you can also maneuver it by, as I said, removing, trying to just keep a clean board on their side. And this time our opponent has not really curved out. They have only played two creatures. So, yeah, near to Chaplin is good, but we have dual shot. We have drag under. Uh, we could play dual shot. Uh, we could bounce it first and maybe find another target, I guess. We can have a red up. Because if they play like near a chaplain and a 1-1 one, one or something, or a 2-1, then we can kill both, I guess. Now I actually do want to find that fifth land, because then we can alchemist greeting and building pack outcast. Hopefully, okay, they did not play another guy. Okay, but Smoldering Werewolf should be able to just kill that, and then we can dual shot the other guys. So, near Chaplin, and then kill it, and then we want to dual shot the flyers. Uh, what is happening? Ah, what happened? Did I double click? Okay, 
<laughs> yeah, so it's, oh, it's choose up to two, so I should be able to choose one. I click the chaplain and then maybe click. I don't know, maybe I click, maybe I double clicked. And then Magic Online makes me not choose. Yeah, okay, obviously this would never have happened in real life if I point at the chaplain, but now it looks like I clicked it twice and then it just negated itself somehow because it doesn't need two targets. It's up to two, so it should be, the, the werewolf should be able to kill the chaplain. I don't really know what happened, but somehow it died. It didn't die. <laughs> uh, okay, that was bad because now... I mean, the chaplain would have been dead and he would maybe play something and then make two flyers and I would kill them. So, yeah, <laughs> I could have killed one of the flyer and the Cathar. Ah, super annoying. So I will just try to trade off now. Yeah, and this... Obviously shouldn't have happened and um, yeah, I guess I just have to brush that off Now I guess I'll try to go for the dual shot Obviously not good enough uh, as, as good as it being off the board already And he was tapped out then so he couldn't have saved it somehow Ah, is he saving it again? Yeah, this is not really going well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess I'll just attack. I still think we can win, but obviously it should have been dead a long time ago and the flyers and everything should have... I mean, he, he probably would have sat with one 1-1 one, one flyer on the other side if that weird misclick or whatever it was. I, I guess it was some sort of a double click. Otherwise, I can't really see what happened. So we're down to <laughs> using our third removal on the chaplain now. I think. I guess if we get one more land, we can flip. I don't know. We can still greeting something. We can still play building pack outcast. So we'll see. Uh, we still get the land. So maybe I do just... If I transform and attack, I put a decent amount of pressure on our opponent. Okay, this time I will try to click the chaplain once. <laughs> Not... Yeah, but I guess you live, you learn. Uh, uh, the smoldering werewolf, be sure to click once. On its enter the battlefield ability. So opponent is on 20 life because of all that stuff, but still we have 6 mana, we have a scry on every upkeep, we have removal spell in hand, we have a flipped smoldering werewolf and a wielding pack outcast, so even though we just wasted some cards and some triggers, it still looks fine. And mostly that's because our opponent really did not curve out in the beginning. And now he should have a hard time. Unless he can kill the... the what's, it, what's it called now? The, yeah, I mean the, the flipped werewolf. And, and it's perfect because his deck, even though this goes long and maybe into three games or something, his deck has a lot of targets for all my cheap ping effects. And now I don't want to land. Okay, so we had four lands on top. That's sweet. Um, I guess seventh land is fine because of building um, pack out outcast, but now it's enough. Uh, but, but I don't think that he can board out everything in his deck that has one toughness, and we can still keep all the good stuff that is killing the one toughness guys. So even if it it's uh, it turns out into some sort of marathon game, we should have an edge. Uh, because of, we, of the two, one, two for one potential in the cards. We'll see. 
we don't know. He could have a lot of broken stuff like collective defiance, collected brutality. Ah, he had collect uh, no collected effort. What was actually the the Gideon kind, and he had it. <laughs> I, somehow the Boros decks always have Chandra's the collective defiance or <laughs> Gideon's or both. I mean, you can watch my old uh, speed drafts and see when I played Boros. I've always had. Either one or both. <laughs> so I guess we're down to scrying and no board again. But we have the Willing Pack Outcast. And now, since our opponent is down to eight, hopefully he can run home with the game. Yeah, I mean, as I said, White Red always has a lot of removal. And this deck doesn't seem like it's an... Uh, it's any different. We see Alchemist Greeting, Collective Effort, and I guess some tricks. So maybe he's more uh, reliant on combat tricks, I don't know. But Boros could do that back in Shadows also. Just play a curve out style and uh, a lot of good combat tricks. I could play that land because I can flip and pump, I guess. I could also cycle the... Terrarium first. Maybe find something. I don't know. Ah, okay, he's dead. Yeah, so some weird uh, click errors, I guess. That I don't really know how I managed to do. Uh, but it felt like the power level was on our side. And uh, obviously that's a good feeling. And Field Creeper, I, I, maybe I should have just played Fog Walker. I mean, that's probably a better card. The, the ability is decent if you want to buy time if they're attacking. And the 1-3 is actually a pretty good bro blocker, uh, particularly against this type of opponent. Uh, and we, I guess we have another... Could we keep this? Ah, let's live on the wild side. We can at least Galvanic Bombardment, and we have Thing in the Ice, and we have Drag Under... Obviously, if I was down a game, I would not keep this. But, eh. Sometimes it's fun to live on the edge, I guess. So hopefully he plays something, we can kill it, and draw land? I guess we need to draw a blue land. I guess I could have let that guy attack a few turns. But now, eh, I don't know. Yeah, obviously, I could get punished for keeping a one-lander. I don't think I ever do that. <laughs> if I really want to win. <clears throat> but now, I'm so tempted by the thing in the ice. <clears throat> Maybe more than I should be. Because now it just looks like I will die. <laughs> I guess... Yeah, okay. Hmm. A bit of curve. What do I need to put out? Something to... I could play thing in the ice and then start doing stuff, but it feels a bit risky. I mean, this guy can lock down that guy and maybe hold off uh, an attacker. And against my opponent, because they will, they, we saw so many combat tricks, just blocking with the O4. And giving him a, him a perfect target to just... Ah, that's good. Perfect. Him using it that on... Uh, uh, Stitch Mangler was really good news. Now I just want to find land. So I'm actually... And now I'm fine. I'm fine trading the o, this O4 for a combat trick. Uh, because then I have Thing in the Ice left. So here I'm going to block... And now he can play like Abandoned Reason or whatever, and, I, and I'm totally fine with it. Ooh, Assembled Alpha, that's a good card. That's a good card. Yeah, and, and th this keep was just bad. I'm... I'm, uh, I'm um, too far behind, I think. Because you see, three mana against our opponent, six mana. And he can just replay the Assemble Alpha turn after turn after turn. I have to stick something. 
that's a threat and be able to hold off his assembled alpha and I don't think I have the mana for that in a few turns and obviously if he kills the geist I, I lose the scry part uh, if I can stick thing and for the, the problem is I only have I think I only have one okay that was bad I only have one card that can kill assembled alpha and really I have to try to dig for it uh, the card is, um, it, it, yeah, we have the lightning. Yeah, that's that's basically it. So we really need to find that card, I guess. And he has wasted three, two, I guess two removal spells. Hmm. I am going to bounce assembled alpha. I will try, I mean, if I can flip thing in the ice, that could do something. And I do need to find more lands. And I do need to find the lightning. He's going to replay it. Ah, no! One more removal spell. Now, I guess I have time to play a creature. I have to do something. I'm far behind on mana and our opponent has that assembled alpha that's coming down next turn again. And I don't think I want to trade... I could trade the scab for Halpack Wolf, but then we're back to having nothing. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, basically this was... A bad keep, so I shouldn't have uh, counted on I mean, being ahead <laughs> in this. Okay, ah, yeah, he has the ability to play both. Okay, against him, Weaver of Lightning would have been broken. Sadly, my deck does not play that card, it does not have that card. I have to find the Lightning, I think. I don't know. I have to kill the... If I can kill the alpha, then I can turn this around. If the alpha just sticks on board all the time, I cannot win. I think. I mean, the, all the one ones and the two ones and whatever. Yeah, that was actually decent. Those I can handle in the long run. Because Brazen Wolf and Willing Pack Outcast and whatever, those are bigger than that. But the assembled alpha... It's a 5-5 and the trigger just kills anything with 3 toughness or lower. Even if they're, they're assigned as a blocker. And it shoots me. So I cannot let that run. Hammock and just attack. I guess I meant Havoc. I don't know. Hammock is something you sleep in. Uh... Samuel Alpha, I've seen you cast a few times now. I guess, like, what could my deck have had? Imprisoned in the Moon could have been a removal spell that I could have had. Sleep Paralysis. I mean, not in love with that card, but I would have played it, I guess. But now we're down to the Lightning. And obviously that could have... I mean, we have 20 cards left to see, so... Could be far away. I do need to do something. I could pour over the pages. Try to find more. Dig deeper. Yeah. I can then untap and drag under again. I mean, I'm digging, but I have to find it. Otherwise, I think I lose. Explosive apparatus. Chain together with nothing doesn't do it. I guess we'll just throw away a land. Uh, maybe I do. If I get the apparatus out, does that change anything? Oh, I, I, I still need to look for. Maybe this line is wrong. I don't know. I, I <laughs> trying to dig for something. 
The problem is I need to have two creatures to double block it that doesn't die from the trigger. And the problem is Brazen Wolf dies, Fogwalker dies, Scab dies, and Smoldering Werewolf dies. So I need to find something besides Building Pack Outcast if I want to double block. Or I could maybe set up a block and an apparatus, but that uses a lot of mana. Uh, opponent says bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah, that is what I'm doing. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not claiming otherwise. <sighs> Do I need to start attacking? Maybe. It feels feels yeah maybe I'm too focused on being able to kill the alpha but I don't know it just does so much I'm still taking a lot of damage don't have a lot of cards left until I should be able to find the lightning I still think I win if I find it uh, obviously as you see, that has been my line <laughs> for a few turns now. I guess I can play a creature, kill off two targets. Uh, just to stem the bleeding a little. Uh, but the alpha will stick, sadly. I can have one mana up. I can take inventory, have red up, play apparatus. I think it's too late. I have a... I can block... I could also play out another creature. The problem is the trigger stacks, so if I triple block with stuff that dies, everything dies and I die with it. So I, st <laughs> I still need to find the lightning. That ability is good. It's hard to race also because I mean I can only take one hit from that guy. But maybe creatures. The 6 4. The problem is the 6 4. I guess. I guess I could. Yeah, if I jump block this turn. And then next turn he lets me block with the smoldering werewolf. And I can flip in response or something. Then maybe I could get out of it. Now I take three, and next, yeah, maybe that's something. So I can have, I guess I'm counting on him having nothing as well. I can still flip. Building pack outcast can block. So if I attack here, play outcast, outcast, yeah, maybe I could race. I don't know. How much? Yeah. I'm not dying next turn. I'm just trying to make the most damage while still not dying. Might. Because the Wheeling Pack Outcast can. Yeah. He can actually block Cowl Pack Wolf, and I can still jump. And have lethal on the crackback. Because our opponent hasn't done anything in the last two turns. Obviously if they draw something, that line might have been wrong. Yeah, they drew collective. Ah, yeah, that was bad. Now I'm dead. Yeah, maybe I took a risky line, but still, that would flipping wouldn't have worked either. I don't know. I was on the back foot the whole game, so I might have missed something. I was thinking that since he didn't do anything, if I put out a lot of creatures, one of the creatures could block the 3-3. Three, three. 
the other could jump, then he was dead on the crackback. But, I don't know. Yeah, sadly, that was a mulligan. Uh, keeping. I need to find red, I guess. Okay, so li let's try to sharpen it up a bit. Though that game was a bit loose. Uh, we have take inventory to cycle. And then we have some good three drops at least. Uh, I guess another mulligan is a bit annoying. But maybe we could just, if we, yeah, we could potentially just stick some threats and maybe loop some bounce spells against, again. Now that we're on the play, Scab is going under. Uh, and then Mangler can do something. And then I guess we want to find stuff like, like drag under. I'm not blocking here because of all the combat tricks, obviously. And uh, we'll see. Okay, machinations. Doesn't do anything. Drag under. We're probably committing more to the board first. And try to tempo him out. Could be something. Machinations is a card I've never, never liked. Obviously it's a win more card when you're already winning, but... And it could, I guess, break stall, get board stalls, but... I've never had it be good against me, and I've never had it be good when I've tried it myself, so... Not a card I like. I like Boros decks to play stuff that affects the board, not just random enchantments that basically doesn't do anything. Hopefully he plays like a 4-drop now. Uh, or nothing, obviously. That's even better. Ah, Thermo Alchemist. Decent draw. Going to attack and then maybe play... Could play the Geist also, yeah. Get a Scry. Find action. Find mana if I want it. Now I hope that he plays a creature. No, I want to target. Hmm. Eh, could take a land. Then I could cycle drag under or play thermal alchemist. Why do I always do that? Now I type the wrong letter. I guess I can play the Terrarian and trigger prowess. <clears throat> but I tapped the red. I could have also have a had a blue up, I guess. But now I have just the wind also. It feels like if he just replays a creature, he's basically dead. Hopefully a 5 drop. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Now he should be dead. I could also kill that. Yeah. Could use the terrarium. Ah, yeah, I can bounce and win. Yeah, he's dead. <clears throat> yeah, and this is, I think, the power of blue, uh, red. Also, sometimes you have some, you have a curve out creatures. You can just play on the tempo. And uh, I mean, the last time I just used bounce to stall out the game, but now we actually use bounce to win the game. So I guess barring. A bit, a few sequences again. Bounce, 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 opponent. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, see you in the finals.